view, Austria, the hills are alive while using sound of music, but this isn't Julie Andrews doing the singing. Instead, a 5 000 pound British Grand Touring Coupe is belting out a glorious, 12-cylinder baritone tune, its siren song echoing along the picturesque valley. The 2019 Bentley Continental GT has some serious pipes, two ovoid-tipped ones, in fact, therefore we're more than pleased to let any Austrian with an earshot hear the roar emitting from their store. The new, third-generation Continental GT finds its voice from your hand-built masterpiece that may be its 6.0-liter twin-turbocharged W12 engine. That's rated at 626 horsepower and 664 lbft of torque, numbers that could have blown everyone away about 10 years ago but now almost seem commonplace. There is nothing common concerning this super coupe, however. This is an associate the House of Lords, a proper British motor car that does its touring in grand style, one who nods to Bentley's past all while embracing the brave new automotive world. While the hulking Bentga, the SUV that Bentley simply were required to build, will be the storied Mark's new hotness, the Continental GT is its modern heart. The assembled officials who spoke, and now we spoke with, during our first go by it used words like honor, and crowning achievement to explain how they felt about taking care of a new car. Indeed. The Condi GT would be a phenomenon if this first to enter the world back in 2003. It quickly became a gotta have Viet machine for rappers, Hollywood hotshots, as well as the Nuvric, by 70,000 being previously sold in all. It's an automobile that located define just what a new Bentley could possibly be, a shining illustration showing how the German know-how and engineering in the Volkswagen Group could coexist using the legendary British craftsmanship and motoring expertise housed in Bentley's ancestral home of crew. We're obtaining a taste of how far that relationship originates as we power the Continental GT into an additional tied hairpin along a stretch from the Gross Glockner Pass, an extraordinary alpine route that cuts across jagged. Fogs waved peaks and deep canyons covered with lush, snow packed forests. Experiencing this sort of mind blowing scenery at speeds fast and slow is exactly what terrain is dependent on, and also the Conti has little problem navigating the road's numerous switchbacks, slick roadways, and myriad elevation changes. After passing throughout the pass, there may be absolutely zero question whatsoever in your minds that the modern Continental GT is definitely an eminently more capable car dynamically compared to outgoing model as a result of a number of key updates, chief particularly a move to in the aging D1 platform to your VW Group's MSB component set, but a lot more rigid underlying structure with greater packaging flexibility that underpins the Porsche Panamera. Its suspension Aluminum double wishbone at the start and multi-link at rear, is an effective design that's further augmented by Bentley's dynamic ride control system. Powered using a 48-volt mild hybrid setup, dynamic ride was created to improve steering feel, overall handling, chassis response, and grip. Its key feature is being able to electronically activate anti-roll bars that will shove approximately 959 lbft of torque up against the forces of lateral level. Further ride and handling improvements provide an updated air suspension with new three-chamber shocks that hold 60% more air and also a Bentley first, an electronically controlled active torque vectoring system. Utilizing a center differential which has a multiplate clutch, it normally sends all available torque for the rear wheels, but they can deliver around 38% for the fronts if the system deems it necessary. You want more torque vectoring? Of course you choose to do. The Continental GT is additionally fitted having a brake of vectoring setup pioneered for the outgoing GT3R and Super Sports models that may move torque from the inside to outside wheels depending within the grip conditions it senses. In case that wasn't enough, Bentley's drive dynamics control also allows the motorist to select comfort, 
Bentley, and Sport modes, or else you mix and match the throttle map, steering feel, spring stiffness, damping, and engine note to individual tastes. The different modes essentially work as electronic guideposts for that dynamic ride and torque distribution systems. Over 200 miles or possibly even longer of taking up challenging and frequently foggy mountain passes, lollygagging through postcard picture mountain towns, blasting through tunnels, and rolling deep across rangelicked motorways in Austria and also a tiny slice of northern Italy. We felt totally in control from the Continental GT constantly. There isn't getting around this is still a large and heavy car at 4,947 pounds therefore we were a little bit spooked if your roads got super narrow, however it is some 130 pounds lighter than before and flat and confident under hard cornering. It's also ferociously fast, with 060 developing in 3.6 seconds and feels just of that. And it's one in the newest members from the 200 club, having a top speed of 207 miles per hour, the big coupe's hand-built W12, the same version with the mill found beneath the hood with the bandga, offers a table flawed feast of torque 25% a lot more than before from just 1350 revolutions per minute to 4500 revolutions per minute. It also has cylinder shut off and will run with six pistons firing. Engine power is routed through another Bentley first, an 8 speed dual clutch transmission. While a version then it also shifts gears for that Panamera, calibrating the dual clutcher specifically for your Continental GT would have been a focus for Chief Engineer Bob Teo with the exceptional team. An interesting journey, the gearbox said Teal with typical British understatement of how much work was placed into creating an experience that will not be jarring or produce any typing at low speed gear switches, but while doing so be instantaneous and snap off shifts if you put your foot down or aggressively downshift. You want to launch hard from the stop, stand around the brake, rev it let off and floor it. Impress your buddies. From our little while behind the wheel. It appears to be the brief was nailed. When you need to see how Teal's team did while using more dynamic tranny setup, turn the diamond patterned metal dial into sport mode, as well as the gears hold fast longer since its exhaust gets its mean mugging back pressure baffle on, you may also hear it a bit throughout the Condi GT's double glazed glass and sound insulation of the company's cocoon of your cabin. Steering field didn't often change such when switching modes, but no matter, it is well weighted therefore you never think that you are waiting to the wheels to show in as being the electric power system starts doing its thing. When we had arrived on a high speed blast and suddenly hit an attempt slow zone, the GT's brakes, the biggest iron units ever designed for a Bentley at roughly 16.5 inches right in front with 10 piston calipers clamping recorded on them hauled it down with authority and without a bunch of clutch and grab in the operation. The controls you're turning can be a stitched up, leather cloud unit, part of your cabin that a great many heifers lost the battle their hides to swathe. Bentley may be continuously ramping up its interior fit and complete, claiming that over 310,000 stitches are essential to cinch up everything that leather. Wood veneer options spice up the impression of luxury and so are a main customization touchpoint. Another interior cube Bentley officials are particularly proud of would be the diamond and diamond stitching pattern that reportedly took 18 months to perfect. That's a hell of a lot of sewing classes at crew. One on the coolest or kitschiest. Determined by your opinion features on the cockpit is usually a rotating center stack element that either displays the 12.3 inch infotainment screen, showcases a trio of analog gauges, or extends the wood veneer. It's a neat party trick. The only slight demerit to us inside will be the piano black small area around the gear shift. The buttons are very well arranged. Nonetheless it sort of stands apart sore thumb-like. 
Overall space inside is in excess of adequate for driver and passenger not as much rear passengers, although it's less than a jail back there as well as its 12.3 cuft of cargo space is decent. If you need to massage, heat, cool or else adjust your seat's 20 strategies to Sunday, you'll be able to. You can also bathe your ears in sound around a staggering 2200 watts of power with the optional Nyam stereo setup. As for how the newest 2019 Bentley Continental GT has evolved exterior-wise, we'll defer to your esteemed automotive design editor Robert Cumberford. From his recent by design column within the car, there's nothing little about any Germain or a Bentley Continental. They're big cars. But because of their stumpy front end and also the giant 22-inch wheels about this new Continental 21-inchers are standard, you receive the sense of the tight, compact coupe. I obtain the rather wide in comparison with all the finer trim pieces around the car chrome band for the side for being both inappropriate and poorly executed, skewed off dotum which is. But that's really the only part from the styling that clashes using the Bentley tradition of understated quality. I am particularly pleased because of the subtle undercuts beneath each important styling line. It works well everywhere, nevertheless it's especially effective within the rear fender indication. So yeah, he liked it enough, and contains evolved into a much more regressive, but additionally more elegant looking package. There are some plastic trim bits though, a little disappointing for an automobile in this stratosphere. Prospective US industry is going to have to wait almost a year to have their hands on one, and that is too bad. By the time that takes place, Bentley may have Val Watchy begun rolling your inevitable V8, plug-in, and myriad good performance variants. There will be a good amount of options for being sure. But from the first taste of the USB ports, this is definitely an ultra luxury coupe merit singing praises about. 2019 Bentley Continental GT Specifications Spring 2019 Price $214,600 Base Engine 6.0 liters twin turbo dock 48 valve w12626 hp at 6000 revolutions per minute 664 lbft at 1 comma 3004 500 revolutions per minute transmission 8 speed dual clutch automatic layout 2 door 4 passenger front engine awd coupe EPA mileage 1,422 miles per gallon city Huia state LXWXH 190.9 by 86.1 by 55.3 inches, wheelbase 112.2 inches, weight 4,947 pounds, 060 miles per hour 3.6 seconds, top speed, 207 miles per hour.